Well, thank you, Victoria. That was a, a really great introduction. And uh, just to pick up your point about the value of art and good art on the walls of where we work and where our service users may be, absolutely. Um, I worked in partnership with Paintings in Hospitals for this research on work-related stress, and it was really important to have access to their fantastic um, collection of artworks that was on display on the walls of the organisation within which we worked. Now, one of the most exciting outcome of this research obviously was writing and publishing, but really what, re what got me inc incredibly excited was to actually find out that all these professionals from all sorts of backgrounds and status within organisations um, actually connected for the first time with the thought that art may be for them. And the phrase I used to hear the most is, well, I'm no good at art or art isn't really for me. And actually having an invitation to engage and be supported to engage with discussing artworks and making a response uh, using art really open up the possibility that actually you don't need to be an expert to get engaged in art. And it's fine to come at your point and it's fine to go and walk into a museum or a gallery and look at an artwork and see what you think and what you feel about it. And I suppose the first part of my provocation is we need to do a lot of work for visual art to actually really take down this kind of idea that unless you're an expert at art, it's not your business to get engaged in art. And people remembered exactly when they discovered that they were no good at art. They could really pinpoint the time when they kind of stopped getting involved in art making when they were quite young. And unfortunately, it happens at quite a young age. Now, for me, the arts in general, all the arts, are really important because they provide a bridge back to ourselves and to others. They are intensely relational. And we are living at the moment in a society where loneliness has been identified as a really difficult problem, something that's affecting a lot of people. And it's a silent kind of um, status, really, loneliness. People don't say they're lonely necessarily, but they feel it. So we've got a really big part to play in sort of really bringing people together and engage in, this, in, in art activities in whichever sort of level and whatever arts they want to do. And this brings me to um, our children. We have got a tsunami of child mental health issues um, and there are no resources to actually meet this. So I'm kind of looking at the other side of like the beginning of life and it's really great that Victoria thought about um, older people because what's happening with our children at the moment is that the arts are being culled from the curriculum. They are being taken away because there's no resources and they just are not accessed by children who are not lucky enough to get this as part of what their families may provide. So we are forming a problem that's going to be really difficult later because there is when you do access the arts at school it opens up something about learning about yourself about others about compa compassion about empathy it's really part of our mental health and our development so the more we take the arts away from the curriculum in, in schools the more we are sort of um, impoverishing the possibilities for our children to use that as part of their own growth and maybe actually take this up as something that they may want to go into. In the work that I do at the British Association of Art Therapists, I can't tell you how many people come to our introductory slots to, you know, when they're about sort of 40, 50, people who've been stuck in the wrong career all their lives and finally <laughs> they kind of go back and try and do something about it. And very often it's kind of like, well, my parents told me there was no money to be made in the arts, which is really you know, an issue. But I think there's something about maybe presenting that as a possibility is that if you can't make a career out of it, maybe you would like to kind of have it as part of your life anyway. So my provocation is we really need to kind of start campaigning for the arts not to disappear from our children's lives at school. Very important is provided at school. But also, research does show that 
how arts are taught is really important. It's not just about throwing a few paintbrushes and sort of doing something because, you know, by somebody who's not particularly well, um, well trained to do that, or doing a Shakespeare play badly that's going to put a child off looking at Shakespeare or theatre for the rest of their lives. The way that we teach the arts is also incredibly important. So it's not just bringing the arts back into schools, it's actually bringing quality of teaching in arts in schools. And I think this is um, you know, something that I would like to kind of see as a framing of the future to really get back to stopping this belief that cramming our kids with more and more exams and more and more of the more academic subject is going to be creating some well-balanced and actually resilient adults, because I fear it's not. So we really need to kind of like value the, the arts within our children's work. 